Are you looking for the best 4K webcam? Well, so was I. So we purchased the Logitech Brio 4K when it first came out, but there were some major issues. Most of them have now been fixed, but not everything. So here's everything you need to know in this Logitech Brio 4K webcam review. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. We release a ton of content to help you get better results with your videos faster. If you're new here, then make sure you click that big subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Logitech has held the title of best all-round webcam for years with the Logitech C920 webcam. After a long period without any updates, they introduced an updated model, the C922, and you can check out our comparison between the C920 and the C922, and I'll put a link up in the cards. And now they've backed it up again with the first Logitech 4K webcam, the Brio. But how does the Brio compare to the C920 and the C922? Is it worth the extra cost? And most importantly, is it the best 4K K webcam for Mac and for PC. Well, it had its fair share of issues when it first came out, so we held off on a review. Most of those issues have now been fixed, but some of them haven't. So in this video, we're gonna cover off everything you need to know if you're in the market for a 4K webcam and who I would and wouldn't recommend. Check out the Logitech Brio. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna share with you the number one piece of free software that I'd recommend right now for unlocking some cool webcam features on any Logitech webcam and for helping you customize your shot before you shoot. So let's start out with a quick overview of the Logitech Brio. The Logitech Brio is capable of capturing at up to 4K UHD resolution, so 4096 by 2160 at 30 frames per second. You can also capture at 1080p, 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. And at 720p, you can capture at 30, 60 or 90 frames per second. It has built-in autofocus and five times zoom in full HD. And it's also HDR compatible as well. Connection wise, there's a USB-C port on the back and included in the box comes a USB-C to USB-A cable. And this will work on both USB 3 and USB 2.0 ports as well. There's a tripod thread on the bottom and there's also a clip included for clipping it onto your computer monitor. In the box, there's also a privacy screen and it comes with a carry bag as well. Compatibility wise, this camera is completely plug and play, meaning that you won't need any drivers to be able to use it. So it'll work fine whether on Mac, PC, or even on a Chromebook without any additional software. But I'd highly recommend that you download and install the Logitech software to really get the most out of this camera. And if you're gonna be using this camera on a Mac or a PC, then you can also download as an additional download the background replacement software, which will help you remove the background from your scene without the need for use of green screen. Looking at the Logitech Brio side by side with the Logitech C922, you can see they've had some major upgrades with the overall design of the webcam. It's no longer a full plastic body. The Logitech Brio has a full metal casing and it's also a much sleeker design. The other major difference is with the mounting system. The Logitech C920 and C922 both had a tripod thread built onto the flexible mount on the bottom of the camera, which wasn't removable. Whereas on the Logitech Brio, the tripod thread is built directly into the camera. So this should give you a larger range of mounting options without the need to use their plastic mount that you had on the previous cameras. The other major upgrade that they've done is to the built-in microphone. So there's still a dual microphone system on the Logitech Brio, but it doesn't take up anywhere near as much space as it used to on the C922. So how well does this camera actually work then as a camera? Well, I was totally blown away with the images that this thing is creating. The low light capabilities of it are insane and I've never seen a webcam come close to this in low light. Normally with webcams in general, you need a heap of light and you need decent lights, like decent studio lights to be able to get the best images out of these cameras. But with the Logitech Brio, even with the lights off in this room during the day, I've been able to get some really amazing shots through that you would not think were captured on a webcam. And then obviously with the lights on and everything set up correctly, these shots that come through just look absolutely amazing. It really doesn't look like these are shot on a webcam. It looks like a decent point and shoot camera or even a high-end smartphone camera to put that into perspective. 
So comparing the Logitech Brio side by side to the Logitech C922, not only do you get a much brighter and much better colors coming through in your recording, but you also have a much wider field of view. Now the Logitech Brio has three field of view settings that you can play with. So it's capable of recording at 90 degrees, which is insane for a webcam, 78 degrees or 65 degrees. Now this is really noticeable when you're comparing it side by side with the Logitech C922 to see how much more you're actually getting in the shot. But the biggest differences picture quality wise between the two is the color and the brightness of the shot. The shot just looks way better on the Logitech Brio than on the Logitech C922. And again, this is straight out of the box with no further settings applied. Autofocus between the two cameras was pretty much on par. There were some tests that we did where the C922 was faster and more accurate and others when the Brio was faster and more accurate. So they were pretty much on par across the board. So what are the things that I really like about this camera? Well, straight out, it is the image quality, which I've mentioned a few times. The image quality is just insane. There is no other webcam that I've ever used that comes close to the images that this thing is creating. The colors, I know I keep saying, keep going on about it, the colors are insane in low light conditions. It works really, really well. The built-in HDR capabilities, I'm sure, play a massive part in that, but really there's no other webcam I've seen that comes close to the images that this thing is creating. It really looks like you're using a decent point-and-shoot camera. I also really like that it's got built-in five times zoom, and this works really, really well. So if you're gonna be creating your videos at 1080p, then you're not gonna have any quality loss right through with a five times zoom, which is insane. Most webcams, if you're gonna be using any sort of zoom, it's going to degrade the quality of your videos. So not so with this one. I also really like the flexibility of having the three different field of view options. It just makes the camera so much more flexible for creating different types of videos or for having your camera set up in one location and really having three different shots. So it's really, really powerful. The 90 degrees is something that I didn't think that I would use, but I'm actually finding that I really like the 90 degree field of view and I'm using it much more than the other two because of just how the shot looks and how much more you can fit in of your background. So what don't I like about the Logitech Brio? Well, first off is how CPU intensive it is. It definitely puts your system under a huge amount of stress if you are using it in 4K. Even in 1080 60, that uses next to nothing on your CPU or on your computer power versus the 4K. So if you are gonna be using the 4K settings, be prepared that your computer fans are probably gonna crank up to maximum, or if you're gonna be using an older computer that your computer may not be able to handle the 4K resolution for your capturing. I'm also personally not a big fan of the built-in microphones. Again, the webcam microphones are never fantastic, but the built-in microphones on the Logitech Brio really aren't anything to write home about either. And the last thing that I'm not a big fan of with this camera is the background replacement capabilities. Now it's listed as a major feature on their website, background replacement. But in all our testing and in all the videos I've seen online, I've never seen anything that comes close to actually what you would get if you used a green screen or a blue screen. Now if you want help using a green screen or a blue screen, we've got some videos that linked up in the cards now, but go to the lengths of using a green screen or a blue screen if you want background removal, because the software definitely isn't there yet. Now one of the primary reasons for us purchasing this camera was to be able to easily create 4K videos directly into the computer without needing to set up this setup, the Panasonic GH4. So to be able to press a button, press record, and you're recording 4K directly into the computer. That looks pretty decent. This wasn't the case for at least the first almost six months. We tried, we tried so many different pieces of software. It would work fine with Windows and the camera record app, but anything on Mac, we couldn't get this to record with audio in sync with video. The video frame rates would drift all over the place, which is an absolute nightmare for editing. We had so many crashes. We had so many lighting issues with the webcam. Now, most of these issues have now been fixed by upgrading to the latest firmware for the camera. Now, that is something that you will have to do on Windows. So if you're a Mac user, you currently can't upgrade the firmware on Mac. You need to plug it into a Windows computer and do it there. But as I said, this has fixed most of the issues. We're now able to hit record and get decent video footage in 4K 
on our pretty powerful MacBook Pro without any issues. So if you've already got this camera or you're looking to purchase this camera, make sure that you upgrade the firmware to the latest version. And I'm sure by the time this video comes out, there might be another version as well. So it's always a good idea to run the latest software and the latest firmware on your devices so that you're getting the best performance and the best experience with using these devices. So make sure you upgrade the firmware if you're considering or if you've already got this device. All right, so we've covered off the things that I really like about this webcam and the things that I really don't like so much about this webcam. Now it's time to take a look at the price. So the Logitech Brio 4K currently sells for $193 US on Amazon. Now, when you're comparing that to other webcams like the Logitech C920 or the C922, which are probably the top two webcams around right now, the two most popular webcams around right now, the C920 you can currently pick up for $54 US and the C922 you can pick up for just under $80 US. So that's a huge difference, 54, 80, and 193. Now obviously the C920 and the C922 aren't 4K webcams, but they're still solid options if you're looking for a decent webcam for purchase right now. Let's jump into the summary and recommendations before I share with you that piece of software that I mentioned that everyone with a Logitech webcam should be using to boost their results. So the Logitech Brio is definitely a solid option if you're looking for a really high-end webcam, something to take your Skype calls or your conference calls, your live streaming or your video creation, if you're recording directly into your computer, to the maximum. As far as webcams go, nothing else comes close right now to what you'll be able to achieve with this camera. If you are wanting to use the 4K capabilities, then definitely be aware that your computer will be put under load, that you will need a really powerful computer to be able to do it seamlessly, and you'll also really need to be running the latest firmware on the camera to be able to do that stable and be able to do it well. It's also important to be aware that the background replacement functionality really isn't up to scratch and if you're looking for decent background replacement use a green screen or a blue screen and the built-in microphones they work they work okay but they're nothing special but if you really want decent audio then use an external microphone not the one that's built into the webcam now if you are after a 4k webcam or you're after the best quality best looking videos created from any webcam on the market today in my opinion and you're happy to spend the 193 dollars on it then the logitech brio 4k will be the best option for you now if that's too far out of your price range or you don't need 4k uh, the Logitech C922 is still a really solid option and it's definitely worth the upgrade over the Logitech C920. Now there's a small piece of software that can help you 10x the quality of your videos with Logitech webcams straight off the bat. Webcams are incredibly simple to use and we use them a lot for our tutorials and all the content inside our Primal Video membership group, the Primal Video Academy. For that style of video, they're absolutely perfect. But without configuration, the autofocus, the white balance, the exposure, the frequency can change dramatically within the shot as you move around and destroy what would otherwise be a solid video. That's why it's important to lock down your settings before hitting record and that's exactly what Logitech's camera settings app lets you do on both Windows and Mac. It's completely free and it gives you all of these options. Now up until recently this was something that was only available on Windows but now for everyone that's on Mac we now get to have all of these settings as well in a piece of software from Logitech themselves without using a third party or an aftermarket camera app. So this is really really powerful and it's something that Anyone using a Logitech webcam, whether it's a C920, 922, or up to the Brio, should have this installed on their Mac or their Windows computer. And there'll be a link down in the description. And then once you've got your videos shot, you know, then it's time to edit. So if you wanna edit faster, eliminate any rework and wasted time, then check out the link on screen now to our free PDF guide running through the ultimate video editing process to get better results faster. I'll see you soon.